You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hello everyone, Neri here from Dragling Gaming, so if you know me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming at you another Let's Play episode of A Place to Call Home. Ah, oh, this has been one hell of a funny VN, guys. I've enjoyed it so much. It's been so silly. It's been a just great humor all around. So random. It really feels like it, like if Adult Swim made a furry visual novel. <laughs> oh, but I love it, though. It's so entertaining. But last place we left off, what was this? Oh, yes. Ah, uh, yeah. We're, let's, let's jump right into this, guys. Uh, sit back and enjoy. Let me take you for the next 20 minutes. Alarm chain, you're up, and let's jump right into it. All right. <clears throat> After lightly feeling his chest a bit, he somehow seems flustered all of a sudden. I looked down and finally saw why. A tent had formed. Moving my hand steadily, I travel along his stomach and carefully touch his abdomen. Down, I slowly slip under his pants. My fingers touch the skin. He stops me from going further. Sorry, I, I got carried away. I pulled my hand away. God, Ludus, what a, that was a dumb move. Why'd you do that? Uh, um, you must think I'm a... Pr Dude, you were just trying to feel his dick. <laughs> you must think I'm a pervert now. No. I got off the bed and went to get some air on the balcony. <laughs> oh, yes, such awkward, silent moments. I went back to bed and lied down, grabbed my phone and opened up my gotcha game. I have no idea where the story is going, but it didn't matter much since I'm only playing for the hot guys anyway. I wonder how well a Genshin Impact type game would do that was filled with hot guys. It'd probably do pretty well. I glanced at the wolf from time to time. Sometimes he seemed to be staring at space. Sometimes I catch him staring at me. And I would just try and turn away and hide from the red my fa and hide my red face from my and hide the red from my face behind the phone. Damn it, I wish I didn't do that. Hey. Hmm? You busy? Not really. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> Ludus? He grabs my arm. Huh? Can I ask you something? He looks intently in my eyes. Sure. What is it? <gasps> when you're usually feeling down, what do you usually do? My ear twitches in confusion. Huh? I do lots of stuff. Can you name one for me? I, uh, listen to a song? Yeah, songs make me feel good. Can I get some suggestions? Hmm. I have a playlist just for that. Hold on. I scroll through my music app. Here, listen with me. I lent, I lent him the other pot of my earphones and we both lie down comfortably on the bed. <laughs> Silly boys. Silly boys. Damn. You like it? It's very sad. Yeah, it is very sad. Hmm. How's this supposed to make me feel better, exactly? You just feel the music. But if the music is sad... <laughs> this is, uh, kind of nostalgic. Hmm? You see, back when I was a kid, I'd follow Dino around whenever he went to a bar. Yeah? And I always remember this one dude at the corner playing the piano. He sat up. I followed. I watched his hand swoosh across the, uh... He pulls both of my hands forward. His touch was gentle. He then taps his fingers on them. How'd you call it? Piano. Piano keys? Right! How'd you not know what piano keys are? <laughs> Jeez, Filio. I just stared at him and listened to that fast, jazzy tune he played. He was so cool. I'd find myself staring at him for hours and hours, listening to the music he played whenever we were there. He's that amazing, huh? For sure. He always made the entire room applause with his performances. So one time, while I was staring at him like usual, he turned to me and pointed. You want to learn how to play? I said yes, of course. I didn't want to pass the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. So we sat together in front of the piano, and he'd tell me these... He held my hand and turned it over, tapping the base of my hand with a bunch of fingers. These... what do you call it? Chords? Right. He rests his hand on mine. How do you know this stuff? Have you played any instruments? Nah, I just listened to stuff on the radio back at home. My dad loved music, so he taught me little bits of stuff about it. I held on to the warmth of his palm. That's nice. So, he taught me how to play chords and stuff, and we'd play together some simple tunes with those chords. we do that every time Dino goes to the bar, and we'd always have a blast. So I practiced what he taught me, and finally came the day where he told me to play by myself. 
Wow, what did you play? I played to I played Tchaikovsky's Piano Concerto One, Concerto, not Concerto, Concerto. Holy crap, that's amazing! Yeah, I rocked that audience with a sick B flat chord. Even Dino was so impressed he broke down both the chairs and in, he broke down both the chairs and in tears he broke down both the. Cha what? What? He smashed the chairs and then started crying. Oh my God, no way! I hesitate on pulling away. I'm just kidding, Lude. I only played Nocturne and E by Chopin. Chopin, Chopin. How do you pronounce that, guys? I'm sure you've heard it all. I'm sure I've, I've heard people pronounce it both, both like both ways. Chopin, Chopin. I'm sure you've heard it of a, you've heard of it already. You being a music enthusiast and all, though I'm no way near as good as my mentor. Oh, but still, I didn't know you can play piano. It's nothing. I'm sure I forgot how to play by now. Hey, don't say that. So, what happened next? Oh, right. After that, we continued on with our lessons. Sometimes I play, sometimes him. Until one day I heard from Dino that he's going to travel away from the country. I felt really sad. The bar was so quiet without him. Time went by until a new piano dude came to replace him. The new dude was pretty friendly, but it wasn't the same. It never felt like it ever again. It was the first time I felt like losing someone. Oh. His hand stops mine from moving away. I just hope nothing bad happened to him. Well, he had someone to pass down his talent. I held his hand. <laughs> oh, cuties. Such a soft palm. <laughs> well, music is out of the list now. What else do you do? Hmm. We can take a stroll outside if you want. All right. He jumps out of the bed. Here, catch. He passes me his fur coolant. It flies higher than it should. Ow! Sorry! <laughs> we, we don't want to sweat so much now. Yeah, this thing always works. I sprayed my whole body with it. In an instant, my fur felt cold. Let's go! <laughs> Going on an adventure. Hmm. Hmm. So, um... How's sleep last night? Oh, um, it was okay. Ah, good. Hmm. Hmm? <laughs> Pretty windy, huh? Yeah, I don't feel any wind, though. <laughs> hmm. Uh. <laughs> so awkward. It's always good to just walk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I moved to his side. Hmm? What? Nothing. <coughs> A soft sensation then cups my shoulder. I turn and see his hand. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, oh, I'm just measuring your bicep. He quickly takes his hand off. So, how was it? The what? Oh, it it's average. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you... Want to measure it again? For accuracy, of course. Yes, for science. I'm gonna measure this for science. He cups my shoulder again, and it stayed. Can't seem to get a good measurement. <laughs> I slid an arm around his waist. Hey! You're a large one, too. <laughs> I can't seem to know why I always find myself gravitating towards this guy. He's got the look, sure, but there's something to it that I can't put into words. Well, I'm gonna sneeze! That was a big sneeze. Maybe I'm just being weird again. I stopped to catch a cool breeze. Now that I've looked at it better, I'm... That sure is a pretty house. The guy living in there must be very well off. He must be living the dream. Maybe. Well, I hope he's not pushing himself too hard, whatever he may be doing. We turn to the corner and find ourselves going to the playground. He picks up the ball, the ball hidden between the bushes. Basketball? I thought you didn't want to sweat. But you don't want to play? He playfully skips around the court, taunting me with his ball. Hmm. He nudges me with his shoulder. Fine. I ready. I already sat myself. I ready. I ready myself at my own side. I knew you couldn't resist. You love this game. I ever taught it. Ever since I taught it to you. Just get on with it. He readies himself at the center. His hawk-like gaze piercing through mine. Think fast. He moves swiftly, making me spin as he shoves me to the side. He scores a point. Hey. 
You gotta do what you gotta do. Hmm. He dribbles the ball. I'm kind of glad there isn't anybody here today. We've got the whole court to ourselves. You really don't like it when there are lots of people, huh? You do know I'm rarely social. He returns to his stance, the same piercing gaze staring at mine. I position myself, my feet ready to dance with his. He sprints, the ball shuffling with finesse between his legs as I block his path. You should join the local basketball team. Nah, I'll do that. I'll just do this for fun. Besides, those noobs at the university got nothing on me. There was one time where a couple of college guys challenged us to a match. We were on the winning side, of course. The ace was already on my team. He has this unique style of dribbling the ball, and he's like a magician making the ball appear and disappear. He's got quite a talent for it, that and how he shoves down his opponents. But I had my own tricks of the, but I had my own tricks of the trade. I copied his every step, every movement of his feet. I swear if people saw us now, they'd mistake us for dancing. My arm school could predict the movement of the ball and catch it. I slid ring a, a, I slid brid. I slid rid I slid brid? I slid right under his arm and landed the point. Play the game! Don't get too cocky, Wolf. I chuckled. Cocky. I ready myself. Strategizing my next win. Hmm. He returns to his spot, eyes dead set on mine. <laughs> He's getting serious. Dude, what's up with your face? You look constipated. <laughs> I move, running at the side of the court. He stops me in my tracks, his towering body blocking me like a mountain. Don't go try don't go try harding on me now. I won't. Oh yeah? I shifted the ball to my other hand and slid right past him. He acts fast and tries to smack my face with his beefy arm. Dude, lighten up! Your face looks so ugly right now! I chuckled. Not as ugly as yours! <gasps> the nerve! I shuffled the ball again and tried to slide under his arm. He blocks my foot and swipes the ball from my hand, scoring another point. I trip and fall. Come on, you could do better than that. You're playing dirty! I don't remember agreeing to any rules. Fine then, I can play along. He dashes to the side. I quickly place my foot under his knee before he could step. He goes tumbling to the ground, his chin grazing us on cement. I grab the ball and score point. He gets up. There! You happy? Fair enough. He positions himself to defend again, his arms wide enough to catch me on both sides. Wipe your face, you're covered in dust! Hmm? He lifted his shirt and wiped his fur. It was the perfect opening. I dashed below his side once more, shoving him down to the ground and scoring another point. That'll stop you from playing any more tricks! He looks at the small gash on his arm, his fur tainted red with blood. Crap! I'm sorry! Here, let me... He immediately stands up and reaches himself at the center, and readies himself at the center. Hey, we can stop for a moment. I'll be fine. He grinned fiercely. Oh, alright then. Come get me, tiger. His eyes glowed and he growled. I froze at the side of his fangs that peeked out of his mouth. Ah! He dashes forward with the ball, and I lose my footing in fear. He shoves me down like a mad bull, and I come crashing to the ground like a log. Hmm, love this music. Score! Easy. You like my power move? It's called the shotgun. Who's tryharding? Eh? I lay on my side for a moment. My left arm felt numb, throbbing with dull pain. I couldn't move. Shit! I'm sorry! He literally flips me on my backside. Ah! Ah! Oh! You? I mustered my strength to form a fist, but gave up. Call Leo! We're right! On it! His hand trembles while holding the phone. He said he'll be here in a minute. Oh, God. His hands hesitate on touching me. All I could do was stare at him while I tried to cope with the pain. It twisted my arm! Yeah? At least it wasn't your neck. <laughs> uh. S hmm? Screw you! Ow. God, I bet that hurts. Oh, he's gonna have his hand, his arm in a damn cast. Oof. Mm. Mm. At the emergency room, I had my arm retwisted and wrapped in a splint. Yep. And I'm told that I should hold off on doing any physical activities until my hand completely recovers. I think this is my punishment for touching Leo's dick, groping Phil's t <laughs> and for being too horny. Gold, gold sure has a heavy price. Leo's face was indescribably horrified while he watched me scream in agony. Filio stayed outside because God knows what would happen if he was in there with him. We're now on our way back home. Filio called shotgun, no pun intended, and I took the back seat. Hmm. Uh, I am not going to say a word. Uh, hmm. 
Tell me what's gotten into that head of yours, boy. Filio stared outside the window. Well? I, I didn't mean to. No, I'm not going to hear it. Hmm. Can't even give me a damn reason. Uh, God, so awkward. Lo. What? Have you ever wondered how I'm still alive? He went silent. What the hell does that have to do with Ludus's arm? Nothing. Hmm. Should there even be an answer to that? He kept quiet. Never mind. He folded his arms. <sighs> you know, I've always been free to talk to. I always was. I'm just waiting for you to come. But I do talk to you. Don't we always talk to each other? Last Thursday we even... Wait, wait, what? Last Thursday we even talked about how you wanted to... About how you wanted to see... <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean... Hmm. Oh my god. My daddy and I would often... My daddy and I often always talked about a lot of stuff. I even came out to him. My mother wasn't too accepting, though. <laughs> she... <laughs> she... <laughs> she threw a sandal at me, but all was well. Yep, he and I would often hang out together by the swing set he made near the river. We talked about so many things and we just kept on laughing at dirty jokes. Good times. There are things that are not that easy to talk about, Lo. I hope you understand that. I do. I know you do. Hmm. Hmm. He stared out the window. Sometimes I wonder why people around me often get taken away. None of them deserve what happened to them. And I'm just here. Isn't that weird? Don't say that. I guess it's true what they say, that good people die young. He cleared his throat. Man, it's very windy up here. Leo slides the window down for him. Put it back up. It's too windy. Hmm. Low. Hmm? Don't you just sometimes wish that everything in, everything is back the way it was before? I don't want to lie, but I certainly do have those kinds of thoughts. Sometimes. But let me ask you this. Hmm? Do you regret the way things are now? I... I do regret. Huh. Everything could have been so much better than it is now. We could have lived as a complete family. We could have been happy. And I could have been... I could have been... You really had things planned for both of us. You know that, right? I remember you were very excited about it, even. I was. I even readied your suit and tie while on the plane. <laughs> suit and tie? Ooh, I wonder what these two are talking about. Ooh, my my, what do we have in store? And back home. How are you feeling? I need to take a shower. But, you're cast. Uh, I'll think of something. All right. Filio. Hmm? What's up? You should check up on Ludus, see if he's doing okay. Things are a bit iffy between us at the moment, though. Have you talked to him about it? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'll try. Good. And stop having such bad thoughts, alright? I don't like seeing you act this way, neither does he. Hmm. <laughs> alright. That's my boy. He kisses the wolf's forehead. Ah! Don't you think I'm too old for that? Nope. Hmm. Uh, silly boys. Hmm. Hey. He sat down next to me. What? How are you feeling? I'm fine. You know, for having my arm twisted. <sighs> Sorry. Are you mad? No, I'm just tired. That's good to hear. I'll head to our room. Is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Lying down on the bed, I stared at the clear sky outside the balcony. <sighs> I take out a small box hidden under the clothes from my drawer. The metal felt cold as I pressed them against my lips. Hmm. 
Hmm. Screen's going dark quite a bit. Transition! Ooh, where are we going? Fern? Fern! Fern! Blood dripped down my hands. The blood left a bitter metallic taste in my tongue. I shook his body. Wake up! Wake up! You made a promise for the both of us. You don't want to make Leo mad again. I pieced a smile. Please! Wake up! Huh, I didn't think that'd work. Leo's hand still squeezed the wolf's crotch. What are you doing? What does it look like? <laughs> well, I suppose a little fun wouldn't hurt. What? What? <laughs> That's a good place to pause it. So it looks like we kind of switched to Filio's perspective there. That's interesting. Okay, so maybe this jumps around perspective. It, it wasn't too hard to under. It wasn't too hard to understand. Okay. All right, guys. It's been another episode of a place to call home. These guys just can't stop but filling each other up. It's really funny. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that notification bell to the next video. I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye! <laughs>